Harrison. Pepper is over there. What? What? Can come say hi? Can come say hi? Come on. Come on. All right, be a brat. So, uh, oh. um, also got today our, oh, and this box has been through hell, but it is the October Collectible Geek. And yes, I know it's November. Um, really sucks that people seem to be getting all of their boxes before Hall or for Halloween, except me, but whatever. Here's my Collectible Geek. And the theme was Universal Monsters. Um, this will probably be my last box from Collectible Geek anytime soon because they are doing away with the the two price caches. The one for I mean, by the time you pay shipping and everything, it's like thirty bucks around there, little under, little over, depending. Or the one that's like $75 um, with all the extra stuff. And they've decided that they're only going to do one. And it's going to be like $60 a month. And um, and I, apparently I'm not the only one who had the this same feelings about it. But many of us uh, in similar situations, you know, be it people like me that are on disability, limited incomes, limited budgets... You know, just with limited funds for whatever reason. Um, doing that alienates, uh, you know, some of their loyal customer base. And, you know, I think that, you know, some companies, they, you know, especially some of these newer companies, they get a little successful. And um, as, my, as one of my friends put it, a little too big for their britches and they want to be you know, come off as real elitist or whatever, and, um, all it's done is disappointed and alienated, uh, a, a, a bunch of us that are, you know, huge fans of this box, and so, and why, you know, that while they do put out a decent box, there are, there are better boxes, so, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, get too bummed over it, but it, it just, it still stinks, because, uh, this was, this is probably my second favorite, um, subscription box that, that I get, um, and one that, that I highly recommended to people, so, um, but, but I've had, you know, I've had numerous, numerous issues with customer service, and, you know, I don't, you know, if items are, are damaged or, uh, my t-shirt sizes are wrong, which has happened on a couple occasions. Um, my, my messages, be it to Facebook or, or for emails, have just been blatantly ignored. And that's a separate issue within itself um, outside the company. But, however, if you're going to have people work at that company, whether they have personal issues with somebody or not, um, they still need to do their job, and they don't. And um, the last t-shirt size... That was wrong um it, i had to like pretty much jump through hoops to get it rectified and I, I i in the end i was still deeply disrespected and um you know i i just try not to let her, let it bother me too much um because i did like the box um that they put out um only a couple i've been disappointed with but um Oh, water splashing everywhere. But, now that they've gone and done this, uh, um, yeah, this is definitely probably going to be my last box. I mean, it has to be in a really, really amazing theme for me to even consider it. Um, I can take that $60 and get two subscription boxes, um, and they're still going to have a better value than one box for 60 in this case and a lot of these box companies that that want to brag about um you know this and this and that and their products and stuff it, you know eventually it just it, when they brag too much they don't live up to the hype so we shall see how long this will last but like i said i, I am really bummed and disappointed about it and 
Um, I know a lot of other people are too. Because I'm not the only one in the, you know, in that situation where, you know, we don't have disposable funds like some of these other people. And we're not going to pay elite prices because that's just not in our budget. So, you know, way to go Collectible Geek for alienating your fan base. So, hope that makes you proud. Anyway, let's open this last box and see if it's worth the pain in the arse of it taking forever to get here, missing Halloween, and it being the last box. So, yeah, I'm not having a happy week with subscription boxes this week. So, hey, look. Alright, first off I see a plush, so we will grab it. Oh my god. Yes, now I this I've been wanting. Um these are through uh Toy Factory and you can only get these typically um in claw machines just as my my um horror plushies. Um they're they're put out for Toy Factory and they um they're they're only put in claw machines. Um, you can get them for other things, but it has to be you know something you know similar to like the claw machines or the subscription box. But I've never seen the subscription box before. But uh, I wanted there's there's a few of them. There's Creature of the Black Lagoon, which he's the hardest to find and hardest to get. They were a limited run, um, so you're probably if you can find one on eBay, they run about twenty to twenty five dollars. Um, but I, and I want the whole set, but I wanted Dracula and Wolfman the most. Um, and then I figured, well, uh, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, um, Frankenstein, and Bride of Frankenstein, I'm thinking there might have been one more, um, I'll get later, but Dracula and Wolfman was on my want list, so, um, as miffed as I am at Collectible Geek, um, they just won me over with this, because these still, um, well, up until before Halloween, the, you could still get these on eBay for about 8 to $12, but now that Halloween's over and they're going to be removed from the claw machines, um, these are probably going to double in price, so I am absolutely thrilled to have them in Dracula, oh, Love my Dracula, and I just need the Wolfman. I'll be a happy girl. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, I, I didn't show Pat for it. Look. Look, you like him? You like him? Well, come here. Come here. He kisses. He kiss. Oh, you gotta smell him first? Oh, what you think? He's so cute, isn't he? Give me kisses. Oh, gonna give me a kiss? Oh, thank you. I needed that. Oh, so he's too cute. Alright, so uh, we'll go ahead and set the shirt over there. Hmm, this feels like a reaction figure. <gasps> and it is! Oh my god, this is the one I wanted. Well, amongst one of them that I wanted, but, uh, I heard these are kind of hard to find for a while, but it is the Invisible Man, and I, I really want a Phantom, um, Frankenstein's, or no, Phantom of the Opera, Wolfman, and Dracula, and actually I had, um, back when I was a kid, they had like a set of these. Um, like from the late 70s, early 80s, of these action figures. And I actually have the creature from the uh, Black Lagoon somewhere, but he's got a hole in his stomach where a squirrel chewed on him. But i definitely been wanting this set. And I, um, I can't remember who told me that Invisible Man was kind of hard to find, but that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm always down for reaction figures. see, Amazon's Choice, Coffee from the Black Lagoon, 
uh, deliciously medium roasted coffee beans, limited release. And it is a Creatures from the Black Lagoon magnet coffee advertisement. That will be going on my fridge. Alright, last thing in the box. We have some more of these micro posters. And um, it's called Titans of Terror. And I will be having to track all these down because I need the full set. Um, okay, I'm assuming we all got the um, Creature from the Black Lagoon, which is a common. I want the Dracula, which is a common. Um, and then the Frankenstein and Mummy ones are the uncommon and rare, but I honestly rather have the Dracula. But I want them all, so if anybody gets these and they don't want them, hit a girl up. Frankenstein and that was the uncommon one I'm kind of bummed and I know I know you're saying what are you complaining about you got an uncommon one but I wanted Dracula he's my favorite so kind of bummed with my Dracula but um at least I got an uncommon one so and I just need the Mummy and Dracula. So if anybody gets them and you don't want them, please, I want them. So that's the end of the box except the shirt. Um, would have thought we would have gotten a Funko Pop, but guess not. Oh, I hope this shirt is cool. And this time they got the shirt size right. Oh. Alright, not too impressed with the shirt. It is, uh... Bride of Frankenstein. I mean, it's cool. I like it. I, I like Bride of, Bride of Frankenstein, but the one I got in Horror Block is better. It looks kind of has that, like, uh, Ed Hardy style, and it's, like, really gorgeous color. This is just kind of blah, boring. I mean, I like it, and I'm definitely going to wear it, because I love the Bride of Frankenstein, and I like the vintage look, but... For the price of the box, you know, I figured that the shirt could have been nicer. So, but, um, if anything won me over with this box, it, look guys, can you stay still? Thank you. But if anything won me over in the box, it was, it was definitely the, the Dracula plush, because I had been wanting him for a few months now, so, um, these started coming out, and, Actually, way before Halloween, I'd seen them a um, few months ago. Um, when I started seeing, I saw Beetlejuice, Freddy, Dracula, and Frankenstein, and it was back in the summer. And I tell you when it was, just not by month, but uh, it was when they released the E three PO at. Uh, Town Center Mall, um, I believe, uh, or at Hot Topic, we had gone to Town Center Mall, so I think that might have been when it was. Um, so whenever E3PO was released, they had these in the claw machine back then, but if anything won me over at the box, it was definitely this, so the box wasn't too, too disappointing. We got a reaction figure, so, and I don't have any of the horror reaction figures except for Frankenstein's monster um so I got a second one now so you like that he's just like you've left me in the crate all day while you were gone to the doctor so I'm not talking to you so but can't believe they didn't even put a spo they used to put spoiler cards in here so I don't even know if this was all that was in the box or all that was meant to be in the box. So, like I said, this is probably going to be my last collectible geek. Yep. So, overall, this was a pretty good box. Um, I said a little disappointed in the shirt style, but whatever. Um, I don't think it really uh, fit the 
the value of the box, or the, the value for the box, I don't know, I get, I guess like a super geek box, you know, I've just got a bad taste in my mouth with their nonsense, so, but whatever, all in all, hey, I mean, it was a decent box, um, I like the Dracula, that's the best thing in it, so, but that's it for me. We are tired, I'm sick, and the medications are kicking in, and I'm going into coma land right now. So, but that's it. Um, we have... We have some more boxes coming in very soon, and I don't remember what they are. But, we shall see. Anyway, that's it for us. Find me on all my associated media on the homepage of here on my YouTube channel. You can also find me at gofigurenews.com. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, folks. Love ya.